friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is a cataract with pseudo exfoliation material over the anterior capsule of this lens mass let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratom on the posterior aspect of the limbus and now a side port is being made on the left side of the main incision about three clock hours away we can see oozing of blood from the lips of the wounds it means this wounds include some capillaries this kind of wounds heal nicely they heal faster than the clear corneal wounds the anti capsule is now being stained with trypan blue tie underneath an air bubble Whenever we use an air bubble, the staining is quick. We don't have to wait for a minute or so for staining. This is real time and you can see that just after staining, just after applying the dye, after a few seconds, I removed the dye and there is quite nice staining of the anterior capsule. Visco is used to fill up the anterior chamber. This is 2% SPMC. And now a uh, uterita forceps is being used to do capsular axis. The anticapsule is torn, a capsular tag is raised. This capsular tag is guided anticlockwise all around to do the rexis. This is an adequate size rexis of about 5.5 millimeter. And now hydro dissection is done with the 27 Gauss cannula and BSS. The fluid wave goes to the other side, the nucleus is balloted and the nucleus is rotated nicely. Visco is used to fill up the SA again and now I am going to divide this nucleus with the help of a pre-chopper and a sustainer. This is Dr. Sohil's pre-chopper. The nucleus has been divided into two heminucleus. This pre-chopper is working well in my hands. I am dividing one heminucleus into two fragments. It is done. We can divide the other heminucleus also, but that is not necessary. If we want to divide the other heminucleus, we have to inject Pisco again. And now the FECO probe goes in. I am using Oatly Cataract 3. This nucleus is on the softer side, so the ultrasonic energy is not much. It is set at 60%, but most of the time I will be using 30 to 40% ultrasonic energy. Flow rate is 40 ml per minute, and vacuum is 400 mm of mercury. And now see how easy it is to emulsify the pieces. Just go in, use the chopper to lift up on piece and start emulsifying. This is real time on pieces emulsified. This is the other piece. This is also emulsified. And now I divide the other heminucleus with the help of this FECO probe and the chopper and start emulsifying on this. And it is it is done. Now during emulsification of the last piece we can decrease the vacuum to about three hundred or 250 and flow rate decrease to 25 or 30. It is safer if we decrease the parameters during emulsification of the last piece. I removed a bit of cortex by the FECO probe itself, the cortex from 6 o'clock. And now in this case I am going to use 
coaxial IA from Oatley for removal of the cortex. This coaxial IA is good. It is it has got a curvature, it has got a bend at the tip and it helps in removing the subincisional cortex. This is the coaxial IA from Oatley. We can remove the subincisional cortex in this way. And it is always better to attack the subincisional cortex first before going to other areas. This is the cortex from 4 o'clock. It is done. And now polishing of the posterior capsule by the by the irrigating probe without aspiration. This is a good way of polishing the posterior capsule. You don't have any risk of PC tear during polishing. And now hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is done in the capsular bag. This is the removal of the visco that was in the lumen of the cartridge. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. The sideboard, the only sideboard, is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this wound. The main wound doesn't need any hydration, I repeat. The main wound doesn't require any hydration when the wound is made in this way. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will give you a lot of tips to manage a routine case.